this is my 2013 E89 Z4 35IS and this is the video because their video paints a thousand words just going around the car I've just given it a quick wash nothing completely spectacular but enough to get it roughly clean Those are cherished plates and I won't be leaving those on. I will show you the actual plates that the car came with originally, um, separately, as I will all the documentation as well. I can do another video of the documentation, but I'll only unicast that rather than putting it on YouTube. So the wheels, rear one, the 326 series, no cracks. That's one that one is perfectly okay. Let's look at the other rear. This one has got a little bit of curb rash. Not bad though. As you can see yourself. These are subs down there actually. That oh no, they're not there, they're slight um, road rash as well, look. But by and large, it's still not bad, it's not completely wrecked. Then let's go to the front as well. So the sun's a bit bright. This one is also spotless. No road rash on that one either. And this one has just got a little bit of road rash on that bottom there, but otherwise the wheel is pretty much spot on. Really nice. Um, no cracks in any of them. Front two tyres are great, We've got plenty of them. I think about three millimetres is the minimum bit on both of them. The rears are gonna need to be replaced in this next kind of couple of thousand miles. The, um, the very, very inner edge has worn quite, quite a lot. It's an MOT pass, I was told by BMW, sitting at BMW in Nottingham, but they will need to be done in about another 1500 miles. Looking at the inside, it's quite difficult to show inside of the car, but it's in nice cream. I'll actually doctor leather those seats. Um, it's got the 35 IS, the 35, oh, excuse me, 35, where does it say it? Yeah, there you go, look, on the, can I see it, come on focus? 35 IS on the rev counter, and the old car's in lovely condition. He's got the wind deflector at the back, and there's a net at the back look, to keep all your stuff, gloves, sandwiches, or whatever you're taking out for the day. I will not be including the dash cam, so that's not gonna be included. It's got, also it's got auto dipping beam as well, main beam, um, pro nav. I'm gonna start the car in a moment, so you can have a look. Um, it's in really nice condition. Let's put the bonnet up. Looks like it's gonna rain as well. And this car has never seen a rainy road since my own ship. So difficult to do this with one hand. Okay. And there's the engine. I wipe it down quite regularly. I know some people go to massive extremes, don't they? They're scrubbing them and polishing them and also I don't quite go that far, but it's all in lovely condition. Going into the boot. The famous issue where these wires go at the back has been recently been fixed by BMW. I've got the receipt for that. I've got the full serve BMW service history. That is the boot, the trunk, or whatever you call it. This is not included. This is um, something that I keep so I can carry a bit of oil around with me just in case. The car has got the stubby, now, that's a point of contention for many people, the stubby, but we can swap that if need be. I've already got the original aerial if that's what you want to do, but even with the stubby, I get dab radio, no problems whatsoever. And if you want to do the roof, you pull this down and put that down, and then the roof will fold up, and I'll demonstrate that that all works perfectly. I'm just going to close the boot down. You'll see the soft close latching mechanism. Up again, put it down. And you see it pull shot 
Remember, that's just been done recently. So that problem is eliminated. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is to start her up, show you the um, odometer and show you the roof. It's all working lovely. Okay, this is the roof down and the engine running. nice Some stinking clouds over there as well so we'll finish this off and get the car back in the garage but the garage it's all good let's have a look at the boots that's the boot all, that's the roof all folded up, folded up in the boot okay Back down. Let's get in the car. Taking my filthy wet shoes off before I do so. All nice. By the way, vehicle number, build date March 2013. It's a post LCI. You can tell by that because of the indicators. The indicators are different. And let's put the roof back up, press that. Windows go down, roof starts to come back up. And over she comes. Locks down, the other piece of the roof comes, goes back over. And then the windows will go back up again. You have to keep your finger pressed on that. And that's because I've just washed it all that more. So let's say we wanted to get the roof down again. We press the open button, press and hold it. Press and hold. Windows go down. Boot goes up. All the parts of the roof. All going back. The boot will go down. Sorry, it's difficult to show this on my own. And then the windows come back up again. Thing held down and off you go driving. All good. Speedometer there uh, 68062. If I go to the iDrive, but I've programmed this. This is if you press the seven button, you can go to night mode, seven, it goes back into day mode. If I look into menu, vehicle information. Onboard computer, journey computer, vehicle status, uh, flat tire monitor, engine oil level okay, fire pressures all okay, engine oil's okay, service required. Let's have a look at what the service requirements are. Click vehicle inspection, it's due 1221, that is the MOT. Brake fluid, December 2022, engine oil, 20, 12, December 2022. Vehicle check, where BMW have a look at it. October 2023, rear brake pads, 22,000 miles left on them, front brake pads, 34,000 miles left on them. So there's no big bills imminent on the vehicle at all. Let's put the roof back again. So I'm gonna put the car in the garage now. Uh, garage now, Pre press and hold, close the roof button. You've got to press and hold. Don't take long. And all the way, because this is a post LCI, it means that you can um, dry, open, operate the roof below 30 miles an hour. I never do that personally, but I know some people do. Down it goes. Up the windows will come. All done. Let's leave the car again. And there's no water there. All the cabin and interior is in good condition. Yeah, Dr. Leather, the seats. Uh, with some Dr. Leather. Um, there's a couple of very, very minor little marks on the leather. Let's have to show you because I'm in the interest of being 100%. Get my 
trendy Crocs back on again. So that could be doing with a bit of a clean up down there. I'll get that done the best I can. But there's a thing on here a lot, which is, it, it, I find in the low seating position of the BMW, this can sometimes be, the, the seat belt can be a bit grippy on you. So I've, got, I've put one of these on, or the previous old owner put one of these on, which is a, it spreads the, the, um, the, the area of that, it's pad, nice and padded, so it's nice to use. And that's it. I hope you found that useful, 10 minute video of the vehicle. That's for the auto dimming there, you can see, auto dimming, and also the sensors for the rain sensors, intermittent rain sensors. Get off my car leaves. I sell it with very reluctantly. By the way, if you wanted to put the, make these black, it costs about 100 quid to buy the original genuine part from BMW. There's the videos on the on YouTube. I was going to do it myself, but I'm getting rid of the vehicle. If I was keeping this vehicle, I would put non-flats on it, and I'd change those for four three sevens. That's what a lot of people who keep this car do. That's it. Hope you found that useful. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Have a great weekend.